I would like to thank all service members, all federal agencies, FEMA, and all partners, especially the first responders that have supported us and our nation to make this a successful uh, COVID-19 response. It's amazing, the whole government approach, understanding how to work with different agencies. Some t this might be the first time for some of our service members to interact with FEMA, with DHHS, with CDC. So understanding the uni unity of effort and how important it is, their role in supporting these different states and, and being prepared to, to give support in logistics, medical, and anything they need. The health of the force is Lieutenant General Richardson's and I's number one priority. I think we took all proper procedures, followed the CDC guidelines, monitored our soldiers, and made sure that they, they're, they're hand sanitizing, wearing masks, um, gloves, proper protective equipment, and following the social distance guidance. So I, I think that we've done everything possible to make sure that we, we keep them in a safe environment. Yeah, this is an incredibly fluent environment, so it's important that we understand that we have to be there ready to be at the point of need and to respond when our nation partners need us, when FEMA, Department of Defense, CDC, DHHS, make sure that the soldiers and the service members, sailors, Marines, airmen are available and understand the framework and how important it is to be at the right place at the right time. It's, it's an amazing feeling to be able to come back to my city after 32 years of services, to be able to lead soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines in time of crisis. It's, it's just an amazing feeling to be able to understand what the city needs, to communicate with the locals, local people and, and be there for them, and to see how much they appreciate what we've done for them. Uh, just, just I couldn't explain to you how, how, how much this means to me.